Ori Suchet. Uh, swelling numbers have filled Cairo's Tahrir Square, rallying against the ruling military council. It's now the uh, fourth day of violent clashes. Police have reportedly also started using live ammunition against the protesters. Uh, uh, Artis Paula Slia now is following the arrest in the Egyptian capital for us. Uh, Paula, thank you for joining us today. I know it's very noisy where you are. The, the gathering behind you looks massive. Uh, how's the mood where you are? As you say, it's extremely noisy here, but at the crowds, the numbers just continue to grow. There are hundreds of thousands of people who are still arriving here in Tahrir Square. As you can see, many of them heeding the call for a million-man occupation of Tahrir Square. The crowd is chanting and has been since the early hours of this morning for the ruling military junta to step down. At the same time, they're holding up placards. One of them says, obey the will of the people or Egypt will burn. Many people are calling this a second revolution or the second phase of the first revolution. The people here are angry. They believe that they've simply replaced one dictator, Hosni Mubarak, with another, the army that's been in control since February. Now, now we are hearing reports that the clashes between protesters and security personnel that have been taking place in two streets that separate Tahrir Square, where I am, from the nearby Interior Ministry are over. But that's preliminary reports, and I'm still hearing ambulances faring in injured and wounded people. The Army's response has been that it doesn't have any intention to occupy Tahrir Square. It simply wants to protect the interior building. But we have been hearing reports from doctors that the Army has been firing live ammunition. Doctors saying that they've been treating patients with bullet wounds to the head, with gunshot wounds to the head and the neck, and with severe bruises all over their body. The police have also been using batons to beat the crowd. There are other rumors circulating that the police are using a new kind of tear gas. No way to verify that. It might be true. It might not be true. Certainly there is a lot of paranoia and a lot of fear going on at the moment. The army for its side would be largely foolish to try and come into Tahrir Square today and that is what many people have been telling me because there are so many people here if the army had to launch any kind of attack later there would be some are saying a possible bloodbath. Paula we understand that the cabinet has offered to resign now just days before the election some might think that would uh, appease the protesters to some degree what's the next step now for the military council? Well, we're hearing that Mohammed al baradi as you say, the former head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, has accepted the post of Prime Minister. Now, if indeed this is true, he would be tasked with forming the next government. The ruling military did say that it was first going to appoint a Prime Minister and only then would it announce that it accepted the resignation of its government. That resignation came late last night. The government which was appointed by the military saying that it needed to heed the call of the people here. All of this is an attempt by the military to try and bring the situation under control, to try and answer the demands of people here. The people here say that it's simply too little, too late. People say that it doesn't matter whether the government is stepping down or not. They want the army, the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, known as SCAF, to step down because if they don't, they are the ones that are still in charge. Now, you hear behind me the crowd erupting again. The crowd often surges forward, surges backwards. There are rumors circulating that the police might be entering. There, then those rumors later are dispelled. The crowd is also hearing rumors that the army is going to listen to more of their concerns. But as I say, a lot of rumors, a lot of confusion, and a lot of chaos at this stage in Tahrir Square. All right, Artis, Paulus Leo there, live in Cairo. Thank you.